We now proceed to the election of permanent officers of this Congress. The first officer is the President of the Congress. Do I hear a nomination or nomination for President of the Congress? Mr. Chief Justice, it is my pleasure to nominate as President of this Congress a worthy successor to Peyton Randolph, the distinguished gentleman who served 200 years ago. The present governor of Virginia, Mills Godwin, is truly one of our nation's great statesmen. In keeping with the tradition of this Congress, it is my privilege to place in nomination the name of the distinguished governor of Virginia, the leader of his delegation, the Honorable Mills Godwin, for president of this reconvened Continental Congress. Do we hear any second to that nomination? The delegates from the tiny but great state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations uh, deem it a, a very high honor uh, to second the nomination of the governor of the great state of Virginia. I would like to point out that uh, the governor very appropriately indicated that at one time they owned most of the land and that much of it was taken away by various acts of governmental agencies. We in Rhode Island have never had that kind of problem. If anyone ever came to take any of our land, uh, I don't think we could have survived such an onslaught. <laughs> From the tiniest state to what once was the greatest state, it's our pleasure to second the nomination of Mills Godwin, the governor of Virginia, uh, to uh, be the president of this Congress. Do I hear any other nominations? Do I hear a motion that the nominations be closed? So, so moved. Any second? Okay. All in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Governor Godwin, will you proceed to the... I appreciate very much the election as president of this Congress. It's by far the easiest, quickest, and cheapest one in which I've ever been involved. <laughs> Just as 200 years ago, a Virginian was elected president. This time, it was Governor Mills Godwin. In 1774, delegates voted Charles Thompson, a Philadelphia merchant, to be secretary. And in 1974, another Pennsylvanian, Governor Milton Schaap, got the same job. The Congress then voted to follow the rules their predecessors had adopted in 1774, with one exception. The first Congress had to keep their deliberations secret for fear the British would learn the substance of their discussions. But this reconvening, in a post-Watergate spirit, wanted everything they did open to the press.